When Panda Keeper Sin Pei Ying saw Lu Lu for the first time in August 2021, he was just a cute, tiny, pink, cut belly bigger than a mouse. The cup was palm sized, said Miss Sim. A senior keeper at Mandai Wildlife Group, who has been taking care of the River Wonders giant pandas for the past decade. Two years on, Lu Lu has reached adolescence, growing into a playful panda cup with a taste for bamboo, carrots, and apples. Watching him grow and mature is a thing of pride for Lu Li's keepers, but it is also bittersweet, as it means the cub will have to move to China, where he will join the country's panda breeding program. Lu Lu, who was born to father Kai Kai and mother Jiao Jiao on August 14, 2021, will leave for China on January 16, 2024. The last day the public can see him is December 13. The Straits Times interviewed two keepers from the animal care team at River Wonders ahead of Luli's departure. And they shared fond memories of their time caring for the first panda cub to be born in Singapore. Under the terms of Chinese panda loan agreements, cubs born on foreign soil are usually returned to China when they turn two. We are sad, but it is a relief to know that he has been progressing so well. He is Singapore's first giant panda cub, so he definitely holds a special place in all of our hearts. Said Miss Sim, 32. She ticked off his milestones, which include Lulu taking his first steps, celebrating his first and second birthdays, learning how to climb, and making his debut in the main exhibit. She remembers how he would make a cute, whiny sound because he wanted the keepers to feed him before his mother, and how he kept falling whenever he played in the jungle gym that his keepers made specially for him to hone his climbing skills. He would chase his keepers around the den when he was less than a year old. It was like a real-life fur toy chasing me around the den, said Miss Sim. Among Luli's varied antics, Keeper Nofeza Abdul Aziz will miss his acrobatics when he would hang upside down on trees in the exhibit, the most. It is very funny to see his acrobatic show. We never train him to hang upside down. But he does it on his own, said the 30-year-old, who has been taking care of the giant pandas since 2015. The keepers said he has personality traits from both his parents. Like his father, Lulu is not faced by loud noises, such as screaming young children. Pandas can get stressed out by noise and will leave the exhibit for their private den if it gets too noisy, said Miss Norfaser. But Lulu does not care and will continue to eat and sleep like Kai Kai does, she said. He even sits and eats the same way as his father, reclining comfortably while chomping away on bamboo. And when it comes to learning new skills, Lulu is lightning quick like his mother. Like mum, he is very clever and takes only a few weeks to pick up new tricks, said Miss Sim. His father, on the other hand, can sometimes take months to learn the same things. Naturally, Luli's carers are sad that he will leave soon. We are all sad, but it is part of natural progression for him to go to China said Miss Sim. At the same time, we are happy that he is becoming more independent. It is a bittersweet moment for me. Miss Norfaza said the keepers here will brief their counterparts in China about Lulu. This will include telling them about his favorite activities, his health and medical history, and the commands they use. On December 14th, the Singapore Born Cup will begin his four and a half week quarantine before he gets on a plane for China. During that time, the keepers will do health checks, including sampling his blood to screen for diseases and making sure he is in top shape for the journey. Miss Sim said, I think when the day comes for him to go into the crate, it will be quite an emotional moment for all of us. I guess we may be huddling and crying together.